Hello Aries, welcome to the channel and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a general reading, I might not resonate with everyone, if not there's a playlist for November on my channel, you could look at these messages, uh, or you could look at your moon and rising signs to help give you more clarity. You're ready, so you're ready for something here Aries. Look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. So look at everything from every angle here. If you're making any decisions, look at all the details. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon and Libra. A win-win outcome. Also, you're ready for new beginnings. You're ready for success here. As long as you look at the bigger picture and you're not single-minded about this or narrow-minded, uh, you're going to come out on top. Whatever this is that you're ready to achieve or set, whatever goal or path you're ready to go down here. So we'll see what this is. The Queen of Cups. Beautiful sunshine card. The Seven of Cups. The Five of Swords. Central energy is the Three of Wands. The King of Cups, I beg your pardon, the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Devil card. Now this could be you're ready to move on from anything that's toxic in your life. Now this could be toxic relationships, environments, it could be addictions, it could be a mindset where you think you're never going to achieve anything, you're not gaining confidence here, you're not feeling confident. What Spirit's saying is it's time to look at this. You're ready to leave this behind now. The energies are correct for you to move on. Everything's sitting the way it needs to be for you to unleash these types of situations, people and environments from your life. Now, it's about looking at everything, looking at the bigger picture here. Now, you might have to fight or change for me, and this is what's going to bring in the change. It's that bittersweet victory. You're going to have to move forward here and you're ready to do this. Now, it could feel like you're winning the battle, but not the war. So there's a feeling of loss when you move forward. So you could be leaving people behind. If you're leaving a, a toxic environment at work, for example, you could be leaving people behind that you've enjoyed working with, uh, but it's not working out for you any longer. So it's this feeling of loss. There's something you would rather take with you, but you're going to have to leave it as you go forward. So we want to be focusing on what we're gaining here and not what we're leaving behind. So looking at every opportunity here, it could be feel like you're cutting your losses. You're prepared to look at the bigger picture now, you're prepared to cut your losses and leave behind anything that you're chained to, you feel chained to, that's been holding you back. Because the overall energy here is about planning for your future. He's looking to the future there, he's making his plans, he's making his decisions, and he's deciding how he's going to forward to create better things for himself. Because ones are creative energy. It's situations and environments and investing your time into relationships that you know where you will grow and you can be creative. And it's going to, there's growth for you. So we want to be making decisions here when we're looking to our future so that it enables us to get onto this boat and move forward. Now, it can feel a bit overwhelming. There's no doubt about this. There's choices to be made here and it can feel overwhelming. But all these choices are blessings and they're blessings that you could have if you're prepared to cut the chains and move away from toxic situations, environments or people. And what Spirit's saying is there's those that are ready to do it. So making your plans, cutting your losses is going to, if you've got a strategic plan here and you've got an idea of what you want to go towards, you're going to cut your losses here the five, make your decisions and you're going to start to see movement forward from choppy waters, from all this toxic energy. Uh, there's going to be mental clarity and you're going to move from choppy waters into calmer waters. And as you go along life's path, things will start to reveal themselves to you and you'll start to get more clarity as you go. Now, this is about, like I say, going towards your happiness here. You're ready to go for happiness. So this could also be somebody coming in to help you that's genuine. It could be a genuine friend or it could be a genuine opportunity in love, a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy, but it doesn't have to be. It could be your mother, your sister, anybody who's nurturing. She's very caring and nurturing. So there could be support networks around you. There could be good friends around you that could support you on your life's journey here, on your new path. So you're going to win. If you're leaving behind toxic situations, 
relationships environments addictions or mindsets if you're making plans and you're cutting your losses you're only ever going to win there can only be a win-win situation ahead of you and what's going to happen here is that you're going to come into this beautiful stable queen of pentacles energy now the queen of pentacles is somebody who's got a lot of home comforts she's at one with her environments her relationships she's enjoying her job she's got a good financial situation around her her bills you know our money pays our bills a lot of security and this could also be someday if it's a love opportunity that's coming forward that moves you on this mindset could be something you might think you'll never meet the right person it can be that sort of mindset or it could be that there's been toxic relationships in the past and you're led to leave them behind and what happens is it opens up opportunities for greater love to come in more genuine people coming in but this person here is very nurturing so it's somebody that you could set up home with very caring and nurturing type energy mother maternal parental type of energy i'm saying she is not a gender specific reading so you can only win here you can only go forward towards success through leaving behind toxic mindsets environments people or situations and what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of sunshine coming in for you the planets are going to align and there's going to be a lot of joy and happiness so it's time to make these choices here aries most definitely and make your plans for the future and if you have to cut your losses, do it. Look at the bigger picture here. Cut your losses and move towards your happiness. Now, I will just clarify this devil energy. And we want four. They want the four. Now, this is about showing courage and being strong. You've been through a lot of challenges here because this, this kind of courage only comes from being through challenging times. She's got confidence now. She's got high self-esteem. She's looking at the bigger picture and she's strong enough and courageous enough to make the choices she needs to go forward. It's about making judgment calls. Now, there could be a deja vu situation or something coming back from your past that was toxic as well. Um, use the knowledge you've gained to go forward. To make your good judgment calls always remember it's about going towards your happiness here so it's up to you what you do but you're ready to make judgment calls here you've got enough knowledge and it'll rise you above things most definitely and it'll bring movement forward it'll bring fast movement forward when you're prepared to look at the bigger picture and cut your losses and go towards your happiness there'll be fast movement this is a very fast moving energy there's no reins on this chariot because this person knows exactly where they're going to go and they've got the enlightenment they need they're starting to see the way forward away from these toxic environments and they are moving nights are movement moving on now this could also be information being brought to you that's going to help you move on from a loving caring person that we spoke about earlier so gaining enlightenment information libra gemini and aquarius energy somebody bringing you information that's going to help you that's going to help you with your strength and making good judgments to move forward here Focus. Focus. You're in the need for clear direction. Decide what you want in life. Absolutely. Skills. Skills. It's time to learn some new skills. Study a course or start a new hobby. Start a new anything. Okay. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon, Aries. Bye-bye.